Okay, YouTube. So today I'm coming. Yeah, today I'm coming with a new video. It's a 2008 uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. So what I'm doing today, I'm changing the transmission. So transmission job is a bit take a longer time to change, and you have to have some skills like to do this kind of work because it's not easy. Okay, so. What I'm to this transmission is not shifting. The car will start and when you try to drive the car wouldn't move and then what happened? The computer killed the the power to the throttle body. It's for a safety. So the computer you wouldn't have any throttle. If you keep mashing the, the, the gas pedal, it will rev and then it stop. Okay? So what happened? The computer is trying for you not to damage any more component of the engine or to overrun your engine or burn your engine or to damage more part in your transmission so what happened it wouldn't have any throttle because like i said the computer is a safety and when the computer recognizes that you have something problem with the transmission you lose your throttle at the four second rev you wouldn't have any throttle anymore okay but this transmission is basically don't move period because the oil level is good we change the oil in it so it starts. So what I do, we put in a rebuild transmission. We're going to install a rebuild transmission. So you can see I already removed the transmission. Okay. For a job like this, you will have to remove the axle on both sides and remove the torque on for the bolt. So this here is your torque converter. Okay. So this is the torque converter. So this what bolted on your flywheel this is the flywheel here and it's have four screws that bolted onto this so the purpose of this the converter is to when the engine's turning it will turn this here and this piece here is full with oil inside and you have clutch inside here that which control the speed of your transmission and which pump fluid was the purpose of this okay so, so this flywheel is connected to your rear crank from your engine. It's was seven bolts and it's connected to the transmission and your transmission is bolted to the engine. Okay. And very important when you put a new transmission, I mentioned in the video before, there is two pin here that you will have to replace or make sure that they didn't come, come out with the old transmission or check for the new one when you're going to install a new transmission make sure that this pin is not there because when you go up and you try to put it in now you have two pins so your transmission cannot go in so it's either way the two pins are on the engine or it's on the transmission itself and this pin is for vibration so when this pin are there they help your transmission to stay stay in form and the bolt just help it to keep the transmission in okay and then here this part here is where your starter is going to come to connect to your flywheels to start the car okay so and remember when you install a transmission when you have a transmission that burn you have two hoses that goes to the cooler line you need to clean those line out because those line are full with degree and oil and metal so you need to clean that you don't want that to go through back the system it's very important you take a you can take a brake cleaner shoot it in the hose or they have special transmission line cleaner use that cleaner to clean shoot in the line blow it out with air until you get a clean deposit clean oil comes out so because you don't want that to go back in your transmission okay and the next trick of when you put in your transmission and when they when you install your transmission, you have to check that. Make sure that your torque is turning. Make sure that you get your torque in far enough. Because if your torque does not go far enough, then your transmission cannot close. It will be touching on the flywheel. So you have to make sure that the torque converter is, is in the right place. It's all the way in. Okay? And for sometimes some big job like this, what I do, I remove the torque and I put a new seal on the new transmission. 
and so in that case I wouldn't go install the transmission and then I have a leak so you'll have to dismount the transmission take it all down again and just for that seal so you don't want to do double chop okay so so this is how you change the transmission and when you put him back you put him back as reverse and you will have to check all the bolts around it to see that make sure you disconnect all the bolts and so forth all right connect back your torque but connect a few bolts make sure you make sure your engine go back even and you, you tie them evenly because if you don't tie them evenly you can have one part is jamming too much on the transmission and so, so when you completely tie all the bolts what very important again you have to take your hand and push it through the hole, through the flywheel, or through where you take out the screw, and make sure that your torque converter is free. Because if this one is not turning, that means that your torque converter is not in properly, and you cannot get to tight back this bolt. Uh, if you, for example, try to force it to so tight it, depends on how much out it is, you can damage your torque converter. Okay, and you don't want that. All right. So, and uh, the purpose of this here is to pump oil, is to give pressure to the oil pump, to pump oil around the transmission, all the valves, solenoid valves. Okay. And that's the purpose of this. And then you have the the valve body too. It's all work with pressure. So it depends on the rev of the engine. This stuff can further spin faster. You have oil pumping more, and then your throttle, your valve body, which do the changing of the gear, select the gear. These have the pressure, the required pressure that is made to take the vehicle into higher speed or lower speed. So that's the way that the transmission works. So I hope that this video help you to change the transmission, and I'll give you an idea what kind of work you want to get into. All right, so subscribe to my channel. Have a good day and bye. See you on the next video. Okay, bye.